Back. Some people make a big to do out of New Year's. They get dressed up, they have champagne, they party all night long. Others prefer to stay in. And that's okay too, right? <laughs> Rain is here and she's going to help us bring in the new year. Cozy at home, maybe just a party of two. Right. Warm by the fire. So what are we making today? We are making today for New Year's Eve two appetizer-y sort of dishes that go great with a glass of champagne. Perfect. And you don't want to get rowdy. No, and who needs more than that? Well, it happens to be <laughs> my birthday on New Year's Eve. So well, I've happy never early birthday to I you, have yes. never ever ever done anything. I don't want to do anything. We've n I haven't made it past midnight in at least 30 or 40 years. Yeah. I'm fast asleep. And usually I'm always up. Right. Any other night of the year, but for some reason on New Year's Eve, I cannot watch that ball drop. It's I think it's psychological. At eight o'clock, you're in bed. Oh, I am. It's crazy. <laughs> well, way. maybe nine. But so, I'm the the first dish I'm making is not what I'm working on first. If that makes any okay. sense. The bacon just had to get out. of The, the bacon pan. had to get out of the pan because I needed the drippings so that I could saute. And I'm going to turn down the heat. Onions for our second recipe, which I'll Ooh. talk about later. You can but, do that sizzle. Yeah. But the onions need a little bit of time, and I'm cooking the onions in a, the same skillet with the bacon using all the drippings from the bacon. Okay. But the onions do take a little bit of time, and since we're doing this live, I thought I would just do this now and then come back to it when we need them. Okay. Does that make sense? Good. Yeah. Get them going. Okay. So, in doing that, Periodically, if you wouldn't mind giving them a stir. I can do that for you. So what are we making first? The first dish is a sh shrimp scampi dip. Ooh. And I got to tell you, I found it on the internet. It came across, and I, it looked so good, I thought, recipe. So I keep getting all of these notifications, like daily, 12 times a day kind of things for recipes. And there isn't a recipe that I don't want to make. I'm one of them. <laughs> so the shrimp scampi dip has a tendency to be very rich right. uh, because it has the following ingredients in it. Cream cheese, mozzarella, like you would put on a pizza. Okay. Mozzarella. Because it's a shrimp scampi. <laughs> sour cream. And forget about using the no-fat sour cream. Just go full at fat. this point, it, doesn't it really matter. doesn't matter. <laughs> and that holds true with the good old mayonnaise. So there's a half of a cup of mayonnaise to a whole cup of sour cream to eight ounces of the cream cheese right. to eight ounces of the mozzarella. And Parmigiano Reggiano, but I'm using the finely grated Parmesan. Okay. So there's a lot of cheese in there. Yeah, exactly, because it's a, <laughs> it is a dip. And what mm, you want to do is whip this together. Cream cheese obviously at room temperature too, that'll help. Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. Cream cheese at the room temperature level. A little bit of salt, not too much. Nice is right. I'll lower the heat just a little. And here's some, just to bind this, okay. some breadcrumbs. I'm sorry for the noise. Yeah, but this is a technology fantastic. Oh, yes. Could you imagine not having something like this? No, and no. And some people don't. No, not at all. But if you are lucky to have one, boy, does it help. In the and kitchen. if you're not, you can ask for it for next Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> or birthday, if you're me. So you're adding... It now I'm like adding shrimp. And, and so what I did with the shrimp, I bought the shrimp frozen, mm -hmm. deveined, take okay. out the little vein. It's called IQF, Individually Quick Frozen Shrimp, okay? And it doesn't take long for this to cook, and I cut the shrimp into little quarter-inch pieces. So okay. it's small, because remember, this is a dip. So, so now, what are we looking for? This will turn pink. kind of a pinkish this color, This is going right? to turn pink, and I just turned it heat up to all the way to high. Okay. And I'm going to let this saute, and it's going to, I'm literally going to take just a couple of minutes. It's already turning pink. You can see that, yeah. But because this is scampi. Got to add some garlic. Oh, oh, six whole cloves of garlic. So it's a good wow. thing it's just the two of you at home. <laughs> and that's it. Then that's it. But just make sure that whoever you're with is also eating the garlic. Well, I would think that's not right. a bad idea, or it could turn into not such a fun evening. No, and the actually, night may come a little lonely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you just don't, want, you just don't want that to happen, right here. No, 
know, but if you're old like me. <laughs> and you have the because you need some wine, I right? do, and I also have red pepper flakes. Yeah. Okay, them red pepper flakes go in here. When I was a little girl, we lived in New York City in an apartment. Of course you did. And I remember hard to live in a home in New York City. Right. <laughs> this was back this was back in the 50s, folks. I'm right. dating myself. But um, I remember one birthday party in my whole life oh, in the apartment yeah. in New York in a long my mom set up a long folding table in the middle of our living room and we all had hats. And I don't remember anything else beyond that. That's oh. a strange. But then we never had a party for me at on um, because it was, you know, New Year's Eve and my parents living in New York did go out. So this is looking great. They are looking great. All right, so now, part three of this recipe. More breadcrumbs, and I've zested some lemon, just, okay. you know, just some lemon peel, just the yellow part, not the white. And I'm going to add to this some parsley, pretty much a lot of parsley. And then I melted some butter. Okay. And I'm going to give you a spoon Mix this all together? Yes. Here, get, I have a nice spoon here for you. You, you wouldn't I have mind? So many, I have so many things to do today. Well, kitchen. you're just, you're my little helper. Okay. Okay, so now take a look at this. Shrimp's all nice and pink. Looks great. Yeah. Now we're going a little long in this segment because the next segment's super easy. Okay, great. So here we're going to add in white wine. The white wine and let this cook. And the object is, and I, I really don't know how we're doing on time, I don't want to take too much, but we're going to add this once it cools down into here. Okay. And we're going to put it all into here. Nice little pan. Yeah. So why don't we do that when we come back, because then we'll top it with that, bake it in the oven, and I'm going to show you how to make a flatbread pizza. Ooh, okay, sounds good. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more Cooking with Braden yet after this.